Welcome back to the Clemson Insider video cast as we go part three with our interview with Terry Don Phillips, uh, Clemson, former Clemson Athletic Director here with me today as we continue to go down memory lane, if you will, or also talk about what uh, today we're going to talk about the process, the progress that Coach Sweeney and the football program has done. And Coach, you, you kind of sit back now the last five years as a guy looking on the outside looking in. Your thoughts as just a viewer of Coach Sweeney and what, what he's done so far? Nothing short of phenomenal. And it's phenomenal in, in, I think, many respects, not only what happened on the field, but uh, what's happened off the field with the type of players he brings in, the example he sets for not only the football and athletic uh, program, but for the university. And this is it's national. It's, it's not uh, just localized, but uh, uh, Dabo has done a phenomenal job. Uh, and as much as I'd like to say that, uh, uh, oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe strongly he would be a, a very good coach, but I, I'll have to say that uh, I don't think I saw the, uh, you know, what he has done, uh, winning two national championships and uh, the program that he puts on the field. Uh, I'd like to think that I was smart enough that I saw that, but I don't think that I did. Uh, uh, Dabo is a, uh, just a wonderful man, great coach, wonderful family, and and uh, and Kathleen is a huge part of it. Absolutely, she is a huge part of it, and uh, so I think we're all, you know, just delighted that Dabo is our head coach, and and again, uh, his family and Kathleen are just a big part of it. Well, the emotions after the first national championship game, you know, we saw how emotional Coach Sweeney was, and. And, and, he, and he thanked you a lot in that, in that, first of all, where were you that night? And then second of all, when you heard uh, all the things he said about you, I know probably caught you by surprise, but what were your thoughts? Uh, what, well, what you, know, you know, people think I'm an idiot uh, for <laughs> how I do my personal life now when it comes to watching football. You know, you get so wrapped up in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you know, your, your own pins and needles and uh, I mean, so, uh, it didn't take me long to recognize that, hey, we'll just record it. And uh, I'm going to watch it when it's over. <laughs> and that way, I know what's happened, and I don't get in a snit uh, during the course of the game. Right. And so that's what, that's what I did. I, uh, uh, we, we have a room... In, in the garage and uh, above the garage, and Trish, you know, stay down, of course, watch the game, and and uh, so, you know, after we won it, she said, "We well, we probably need to turn it on now." And uh, so, uh, I turned it on and uh, spent the rest of the night watching the game. Yeah, uh, and uh, it, it was just just phenomenal. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, I know people, I, you know, we all got our idiot secrecies. Yeah, of uh, course. Even you will. Oh, I uh, definitely got uh, some, so, trust me. When there's so, anything called an idiot, just, I'm in it. <laughs> so, so, so people don't understand that, that, that uh, I said, I don't have to, I don't have to uh, watch it live. I, that's why they have these recorders nowadays. That way, when you turn Fast it on. Fast forward commercials. Well, it was. I know the pe commercial people don't like hearing that, but you know. Well, I know, <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. You you know, you don't get in the snit uh, uh, watching it live. Yeah, it's real. It's a lot easier for me to watch it. Once a lot better it's on the blood pressure. Huh? A lot better on the blood pressure. Absolutely. Yeah, and of course, you used to sit on the sidelines when you're when you were w with Clemson, so I can understand you wanted to do it this way because that would have to be stressful when you were on the sidelines. Um, so. When Dabo wins the second one last year, you know, what were your emotions then? Because, okay, yeah, the first one was great. I mean, it hadn't been done in 35 years, but not even two years later, they've won a second national championship. Well, I, I was either 
I'm as excited as I was, or I was probably more, because to win two national championships, uh, two out of three years against a great program, it's phenomenal. I mean, words really can't describe it. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and to have been part of it uh, and helping put the program together, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's a phenomenal feeling. And, uh, and again, um, there's no more deserving people than uh, Dabo and Kathleen. They're, ju they're just, they're, they're tremendous. No matter what interview, Dabo always brings your name up when he's talking to the national guys or ESPN and your name comes up first is, you know, he says, you know, I wouldn't have it all without Terry Don. None of this would happen. You know, when he gives you the credit and does all that, what does that mean to you? Or do you just kind of blow, try to blow it off because, you know, you're modest? I don't know. You tell well, me. You know, certainly I, I, I feel uh, gratitude and, and pleased. You know, it's just one of those things where, you know, we, we had some troubled waters that we had to get through as he was uh, uh, building uh, his program, and, and uh, not everybody was happy with us uh, all the time. Uh, and so, you know, when you sort of start from the, on ground zero and, and build up and, you, and you're part of that process, uh, you know, you've, you just, you've got to you got to feel good, and mm -hmm. that's how I feel. You know, I, I, I feel good about uh, what has happened, but I, I also but I really feel good about he's done it the right way. Uh, and I'm happy for, uh, for his family, and uh, because again, uh, nobody's <coughs> giving anything to Dabo and Kathleen. And they've done a remarkable job uh, in uh, how they've uh, raised their family and uh, the examples they, they, they set for their children and, and, uh, and the type of person that both, uh, that both of them are. And I, I, I mean, I just can't say enough about Dabo and his family and, and the example that they set for all of us. Uh, I mean, they, they have a tremendous uh, example and they're role models for this community, for their family, for, you know, people out uh, yonder's way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel wonderful for them. Well, Devo last week got the, what's called the largest by terms of years and, and amount of money. It started the largest contract in the history of college football. <laughs> Uh, first of all, is he going to? Well, take... I keep thinking it. Well, he probably call you and me and say, "Hey." Oh, absolutely. He's going to he's going to take us on a trip to Hawaii or something. Uh, I think uh, you know, definitely me. Right? Um, no, no. But it's your your thoughts when you see um, here's little old Clemson, as as everybody likes to say, as Dabo likes to say, little old Clemson, and yet it's got the uh, the highest paid head football coach in the history of college football right now. That's that's kind of a lot to take in, don't you think? I mean, what were your thoughts when that news came out last week? Well, I, I think it's absolutely uh, marvelous because if you look uh, and see what uh, Dabo and Kathleen uh, have achieved as parents, uh, people, uh, them working together with the, uh, in this program, uh, you know, you just got to be so happy for them because Everything that they got, they worked for. He, he wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, uh, everything that he has gotten, uh, he's worked for. And he's worked hard for it. And, uh, and he, he, again, he sets a great example, both he and Kathleen. And, uh, I can't. I can't think of any uh, anybody I mean, that would would be more uh, grateful for what has occurred uh, 
uh, in their, their lives and Dabo and Kathleen. Uh, I, I just think it's marvelous. Uh, uh, now Dan's got to uh, balance the books, but <laughs> but he he's will. He's got to make it work, right? <laughs> uh, well, he will. Dan is Dan is he's great. He's, he's great. great. He's smart, and so he's he's got his ducks in a row now. Yeah, and, and he's smart because he knew he had to go ahead. Let's go ahead and lock him up because obviously when you win two national championships, people are going to come calling for him when those jobs come open, and and um, and so obviously he wants to make sure he's happy here. Absolutely. You know, when Dabo became head coach, you know, there, it shows the, you know, I thought Dan did a good job at, in front of the board breaking it down, um, and, and he let the media, when they had the open session, let the media see what they kind of presented to the to the board of directors, uh, trustees, uh, um, and they call it the Sweeney effect. And, and I thought it was pretty good how he showed how Dabo has not only helped the athletic parts, but also the academic side and all. From your outside, seeing the Sweeney effect on – not only the football program and the university, but also the community. Can you talk about that and what that's meant to Clemson, uh, being as a guy who's a part of the community here? You really can't place a value on that, but, but, but uh, how people look at and feel toward Clemson uh, is a uh, direct uh, relationship to how Dabo has built his program, maintained his program, and how it represents uh, this university in such a positive fashion uh, that uh, even non Clemsonites or whatever you want, uh, you know, they, they respect this program and they know the program's being run in the right way and, it, and by people that's got great values and uh, so he you know he's uh, not only a great coach but a great ambassador uh, for Clemson and this state um, so the only thing I can say I, I mean we're, we're blessed and uh, that Devo is our head coach and and, and um, and yes, he's, uh, he's, I would say, uh, without fear of hesitation, he's making the big bucks now. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, he's earned it. Mm -hmm. He's earned it. Uh, and he's, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I just, uh, I'm just so happy for him. All right. There we have it for our third session as we, uh, Get ready to wrap up here with uh, Coach Terry Don Phillips. So we got one more to go. We'd like for you to tune in to TCI for that video as we continue to talk about uh, the Clemson Athletic the Program and more with Clemson, former Clemson Athletic Director Terry Don Phillips. Stay tuned to TCI.